Hi, this is Jeff, and today I'm going to be milling the gold ore that was collected from the North Cascades. And I hiked out uh, three buckets worth, just weighed these, and it's 141 pounds minus a couple pounds for the buckets, it's about 139. And what I'm going to do is run them through this hammer mill, and I've installed a about a one millimeter slotted screen in the bottom so that all that ore has to grind down until it fits through the screen. And I'll add water to create a slurry and reduce the dust and the slurry will feed out the bottom here, out of this chute I made, into these buckets. Then, what I'm gonna do is run it through this uh, homemade concentrator and screener. It's a two-in-one, but first I'm gonna screen it through a 30 mesh screen. It's inserted into here, and this whole uh, container vibrates. And I'll take off the bottom so I can get the fines out, and then we're gonna rerun the oversize to the hammer mill to grind down and free any more gold that might be in the 30 mesh plus. Finally, we're gonna take this thing out, feed everything into the concentrator, and as this bin shakes, and as we add water into it to keep the material fluidized, all the dense particles should settle to the bottom. And because gold is so much more dense than quartz, we should hopefully have a nice concentrate in this detachable cone at the bottom that we can then pan out the fine gold. So we'll fire up the mill and get started. and it's all a nice sand consistency or smaller. Let's scoop out a piece here so you can see it. It's really fine. A lot of it's almost like mud. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and screen it. And how this works is I'll turn on the concentrator and the screener, and there's a bucket screen in the top. I'm gonna add water to help flush the material through, and we'll capture all the 30 mesh plus in the screen and all the 30 mesh minus in the bucket. screen the material and have the 30 mesh minus in these two buckets and uh, had some technical difficulties with the homemade vibrating concentrator so we're gonna go ahead and try it in a blue bowl for now and see if we can get some gold out of this material tried the blue bowl and there's a lot of heavies in there but it was really slow only got maybe a few scoops in there and it started to clog so blue bowl was too slow and we're gonna try a, a gold cube here to try getting uh, capture the fine gold from the ore that we ground down and we'll see how it works working down the last bucket through the gold cube concentrator going pretty well. It's, uh, it's faster than the blue bowl and it seems like it'll be more effective than the uh, 
the homemade setup that we had tried before. There's a few tweaks that didn't need to be made to that one. And I'm excited to go ahead and clean out these mats and pan them down, see if we got any gold. And you see a few settling buckets here, and that's to collect the tailings from the gold cube. Uh, is I'll want to save those and run them through a, a little bit more industrial grade concentrator to see if there's any gold that was lost in this process. All right, I'm done panning down the concentrate from the gold cube, and there is some really fine gold in there. It's a nice line and everything. It's at least a couple grams from that sample, and uh, we're going to go ahead and put this in a vial so we can see how much is captured. Here's a vial with the concentrate that was panned out, uh, and there's quite a bit of fine gold in there. I'd say most of it is uh, sub-100 mesh, except for that one little picker that's in the middle. Uh, there's probably at least I don't know, a couple grams there. And test was a success. Got some nice gold out of it. So real excited about that. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to go ahead and take those tailings from the gold cube and run them through a shaker table to see if we can get any more fine gold that the gold cube might not have captured. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you in the next video.